helping veterans navigate the challenges of civilian life. Governor Cooper sat down with local leaders in Jacksonville today for a roundtable discussion. News 12's Bill Yana Garland was there and joins us now live with how he plans to help. Governor Cooper joined with about 10 other veterans here at the NC Works Career Center. This is just one out of the hundreds of other locations in North Carolina to provide the tools for better success in the workforce. What we want to talk about today is ways that we can help our veterans. Governor Roy Cooper making it clear veterans matter beyond military service. The roundtable brought up the challenges vets face transforming their military skills into marketable assets in the civilian workforce. They've uh, gotten that teamwork. They, they understand how to uh, be a part of a unit, how to follow instructions, how to show up uh, on time, ready to work every day. So veterans offer such a wide variety of skills to, to our private sector. The roundtable provided a platform for candid discussions. Governor Cooper says it's never too late to find a career to thrive in. The number one state in the country for business, there is a tight labor market. This is the perfect time for veterans to be entering the job market. And for military spouses and disabled veterans, Michael Coolidge at NC Works says finding a job aligning with their lifestyle is a crucial step in the right direction. Um, oftentimes we have clients come in that are dead set on going down one career path and we can work these instruments with them and determine, hey, you know, you may actually be a better fit for this kind of career. Veteran Timothy Baker talked about the fear of military members not being able to fit in at a civilian workplace. You still have a chain of command in the civilian world that you have to report to. You still have projects that need to be done. You don't have somebody barking over your shoulder, but they're there. Staff at NC Works has a first-in-talent plan to extend employment resources to veterans across the state. 